What's up, folks? We're gonna learn right now a simple and repeatable epoxy kitchen countertop design using nothing but our hands and a little bit of epoxy. Then we're gonna take this project to the next level using our own personal touches and a little bit of an accent color. Stay tuned, enjoy the video. Keith, bud, it's been real nice working with you finally. We just spent all that time in the class. I feel like I've got to know you over Facebook, man. Your work has been fantastic to watch. I appreciate that, Mitch. Not only that, though, you are one of the first guys to hop on either RK3 Insiders or Stone Coat Insiders or whatever Insider Epoxy group is out there. Keith is one of the first to help and his his knowledge and advice is spot on. So listen to this guy, he's an epoxy professional. I've been pumped to be able to create with you, man. This has been a lot of fun. I appreciate that, Mitch. I'm so excited to be here with you and just had a great time being here. And uh, I'm just paying it forward. I've, everything I've learned, I've learned from you guys. And from, it's just been fantastic, so. So you are all over Facebook's epoxy pages. Where can customers find you? if you know they want to get some of your beautiful countertops installed in their house. Sure, you can find me on uh, Facebook, KCDC Designs. Uh, look through my photos, see a lot of before and afters, a um, little bit of the process, and uh, uh, a lot about uh, me, what I do, and uh, the work I put out. Check them out on YouTube. Keith publishes sweet little tutorials, beautiful epoxy countertop techniques. Go subscribe, hit that thumbs up. All right, bro. We're mixed up. Let's get on out there next to Rhonda onto our project and we're gonna start applying some epoxy. Let's do it, I'm pumped. All right, so how we're gonna do this, we've already pre-mixed up our colors into the resin. We divided those up into individual cups. We're gonna pour this out randomly. We'll each grab a cup. We'll get it all our material out on the project. We'll spread it with our hands, get any of that surface tension out, make that board all the way wet. Then we're gonna mix up our accent color, apply that, bring this project to the next level. It's gonna look super sweet. Pick a color, what you want, Rhonda? Oh, give me the, uh, I'll this take one, that one. my bam, bam. favorite brown. I got the brown dye, and <laughs> then right. we'll put that we'll one on last. Side. All right, so ready? lead the way, Rhonda, yep. Me? All right. You got this. You lead, we follow. So we made this piece yesterday at Rhonda's epoxy hands-on training class. Kenny teaches how to build life-size, realistic countertops that are gonna go in your house. We don't just make boards on little things. You're gonna learn how to create real countertops. We have two separate edges here. We got a rock face and a flat edge. We show that to our customers who are on the fence. We'll put this epoxy countertop technique on a board that has a flat edge and a rock edge. And then when we show that to our customer, they pick which edge they want. So we just poured out the three colors. They're all earth tones. They look pretty as it is. Now we're gonna meld these with our hands. All, as a team, the piece will all look pretty uniform because we're gonna keep that same flow. We're gonna make any dry areas wet. We'll hit our edges, and then it's time to add those accent colors. So we're using a combination of colors as well. We're using uh, mica powders, we're using dyes, and we're using some paste that you can't even find at Stone Coat. So I'm excited to try some of these colors. You want some white, Keith? Yep. Boom. Oh, perfect. So just make any dry areas wet. That's gonna get that epoxy to flow. And we've leveled out this project on our sawhorses. And we have two by fours with all threads under there. Super fast way to level out big projects in your shop or on site if you're making these cool. Thing is, those colors are so neutral that really could go with just about any decor. Really, you're right. Easily matched. And this is where the epoxy process gets even more fun. Through creativity comes into it. Keith looks at this project a little bit differently than me, and Rhonda looks at it a lot different than all of us. We all have our own flavor and style. Now it's time to take this to the next level. What color are you going with? I think 
I'm going to come in with a product from uh, Resin Art, and it is called Golden Autumn. It has a little bit of that, uh, almost an undertone of a reddish orange. It's going to give it kind of a warmer hue. I've never used any resin art, but I've heard some fantastic things about how pretty amazing. that stuff is. It is amazing. I pulled out a secret stash. It's going to be my special sauce. Oh my And goodness. you didn't know I was going to do that, did you? I'm going to come in I? with a red bronze glitter and also a chocolate truffle glitter from Just Resin. Both mm. are available on my website. I'm going with Color Obsession Reef Blue Shimmer. I'm a gigantic fan of Stone Coat's Blue Earth, and this uh, takes Blue Earth to a whole nother ball game. I cannot wait to see what this looks like in these earth tones. Keith, what you going with? Funny you should ask. So, I'm gonna go with another product by Just Resin. This is a paste, and this color is, this is a peacock green. Very interesting color. But on top of that, I may even take that to another level. Didn't think I knew about your bling, did you? No, I did not. I have here a product called Silver Halo. Oh, that's Kenny's very favorite. And I didn't know that. Very favorite. So let's see what happens. Oh, uh, let's see what happens. Guys, you can get all of these products on my website, RK3 Designs. You can also check out all of these colors on artisttilldeath.com. Use coupon code RK3 to get a discount. And all our little techniques can be used on multiple different surfaces to bring them to the next level or pull you out of a bind when, you know, the epoxy can sometimes, your best laid plan will go uh, start flowing the other way that you're thinking. So it's okay, you gotta roll with it. Learn how to roll with those punches, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Don't pull the panic cord, just pull out one of these techniques that um, you have in your back pocket, like Rhonda's trowel. Like one of my favorites is the isopropyl alcohol mist just right over the whole piece. So I'm gonna try to miss this without hitting Keith's piece. The isopropyl alcohol gets in there and moves and opens up those different additives that we've all smeared together. Now look at that thing come to life. And I haven't even added my accent color. So that little step alone, folks, look at that. What's cool is a different reaction between where you have the mm -hmm. dyes and where you have mm -hmm. the mica powders. How they Correct. kind of fight with each other. Like that was a that lot was more boring before I hit a little bit right, of alcohol right. in that. Just like Rhonda, I'm only gonna use my accent in the specific spots. I'm not gonna dump a big amount of this. This is only an accent color to tie into my customer's uh, floor tile or whatever it may be that they're trying to match. Well, we're all. Cause you're not gonna want a, 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 nobody really wants a pure blue countertop, some may. So I just load up my stick and I'm drizzling it on. I'll come to that white vein and that cool Keith and then you take over the rest. Absolutely. All right, buddy. I don't want to add too much. And then I feather it out. So I'll have it real concentrated. And I'll pick some up with my fingers mm -hmm. and walk it left to right. Man, that's pretty. And then I'll come back with my alcohol. Yep, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna miss this, open it back it up now. with that alcohol. And then I'll let Keith show what he's gonna bring to the table, bud. So they've been talking about sabotaging me. <laughs> so now that my epoxy is so set up, I can't work it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so set up, it's only been 10 minutes. I'm gonna That's, mess this real quick and you can tell, oh boy, I got you a little. So sorry. What did, what did they tell you? Sabotage. Look so at that's, that. that's what's so important to know about this too, with Stone Coat Countertop Epoxy, you have, depending on your climate, your temperature, humidity, you're gonna have an hour and a half, two hours easily of working time. So I'm not in any big rush. I know I've got plenty of time to do what I wanna do. I'm done. I'm going to let that alcohol dissipate. So one thing you don't want to do is pile on alcohol. Well, tons of it. Give it a little mist. Let it dissipate. You can always come back and miss it again. So as the mica powder set, uh, the, the, the metallics will settle a little bit. Right now, I almost don't want to do anything with that. 
some of the cells that have created in there, that just really, really looks nice. And I have to say it because it's something that comes from the best. Without a doubt, 100%, that could be a finish all on its own. I'm gonna take it to the next level. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of alcohol on my hand, and I'm just gonna skim across this, and Ooh. I'm just gonna wake these mica powders up just a little bit. I now really this is don't a wanna... technique I've never tried before. I haven't either. I like that. But the alcohol, the alcohol oh, on my sorry. hand uh, really prevents, I really don't want to pick up and I really don't want to move it around a lot, but look how it wakes those metallics up. Mm -hmm. My turn again, right? I've watched this thing chill out. The alcohol's out of the project. It's dissipated. The cells are still there. I almost would be extremely happy with this. I would be done at this point, but like I might miss a little more alcohol. But maybe I just make a little exotic pore vein Ooh. to tie in there, right? Just to show what that'd be, right? I have cool. my leftover material right here. So I'm gonna take my leftover epoxy that's tinted individually and start pouring it back into a larger cup. So I got a little white in there. I'm gonna add this, I forget which color this is, but I don't know. I'm gonna do this really quick. Add a little bit of blue. I've done, you can do entire countertops with nothing but this technique, but I'm just gonna build a small vein with it. All right, so that's my little bucket of random colors. I'm gonna let that self level, wow. but I'm also gonna hit it with a tiny bit of alcohol while that's doing that. Where'd the clear go? Here it is. So that's one way to add a super contrasting vein without dragging a stick through. And I think folks, I'm done. That was his hack right that there. That is my color palette. That belongs to me. That's Why can't it be mine too? What did you add to that? Ron Gold Ron dust? Ron no, it's that silver halo. Oh, it's the halo glitter. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at the effects in there from those spray paints that I just sprayed onto my gloved hand. Look at how those open up. So I'm just going to lightly spray some right in there. A technique called there's a name for that the french the, the italian drip the french drip <laughs> that's a coffee that's a machine. french dip <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> question of the day let us know in the comments below what style would you like to see in your space you've got team keith team mitch or team Rhonda. let us know in the comments below now back to the video i learned this in this last class so Rhonda will do the italian drip where you spray big drops bam 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 and then comes back with a little mist for the little cells and a combination of those two effects realistic looking granite effects he's making it rain this piece looks fantastic each one is in the same family uh, both all three very unique we use our different styles and I absolutely love how all three of them turned out we could have stopped 40 minutes ago and we've been Easily. working with it for an hour right 50 minutes or so so and look how many techniques that right. we used for how many different looks right. that you can get throughout just one countertop piece. And honestly, for what we did here, this could be in someone's home, even with having some blue, some mm -hmm. red, some green, it all flows, it all goes together. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. Right, so what we wanted to portray in this video is just proceed forward, keep layering or walk away. You can learn different techniques and apply them to various jobs and color schemes, but the most important thing is just pick colors that go well together, right? All right, my favorite part of the project, truthfully, is Rhonda's bling she added. That is blingy, but it doesn't overpower, and it exactly. goes with that red. So that is very beautiful, and I love how that goes over the edge. You took the time to make sure that goes over there. That's gonna catch your eye walking in the kitchen. Absolutely. That's my favorite part of this project. What about you, Rhonda? One of my favorite things, and I try to really teach our students this, 
is I didn't use any expensive tools here. Oh, I used right. my hand and a Bondo spreader. <laughs> and so you can create such beautiful finishes with very, very simple tools. That is a, that's a great takeaway. Yep. What about you, Keith? Yeah, my biggest takeaway is what I've already mentioned, is we all use the same colors with the exception of our accent colors. The amount of working time that we have and what you can create and, and the amount of time that you have to create a beautiful piece like this, it just, it, it amazes me. So my takeaway is fantastic work, you guys. You yeah. too. It was fun Gorgeous. working with you guys. I hope you gained a little bit of confidence watching this video to do epoxy over your own surfaces. And if you need to study up a little bit more, we have hundreds of channels across all three of our YouTube channels. That's we have gonna... a lot of videos. <laughs> we have hundreds, yeah. of, views. <laughs> we have hundreds of, of millions videos. of videos yeah. and views yeah. that's going to teach you how to do this step by step. Check out KCDC Designs on Facebook and YouTube. Check out Rhonda at rk3designs.com to learn how to do this on video or out here in Texas, hands-on training. And from all of us here at Stone Coat Countertops on location with RK3 Designs, you, you got, got this. this. And we'll see you in the next video.